I get to come and say, hey, Ryan, how are you? Or am I supposed to say, hey, everybody first? You can do whatever you want. I just had a feeling you were going to come in first, so I didn't say anything. Yeah. Always come in first. Mm -hmm. I've got a headline for us. I think that's a record for how how quickly you talk about come. I've got... (laughs) Go ahead. You have a headline. Uh, I have a headline. I'm not surprised. Go ahead. Let's Uh, hear it. Back in our great state of Florida, our our friends, it says, Florida man arrested for pooping on a dead possum during rush hour traffic. <laughs> I love it. I, I, these are so good because it's just like... So random. Well, it's random, yes, but I, I, I have an imagination, and so I have 16 questions that pop into my head like a, like just immediately. I'm trying to figure out why he was... Which part was well, he arrested for? Right, there's a, a multiple, multiple things there, right? Obstructing traffic. And of, of course... And that's not even one of the responses, which is interesting. It says, did he know the possum? Was this his finishing move? Oh. It said, was he using a different animal to wipe? This is a fetish. It said, was the possum really dead or I, just pretending? I didn't like that anim- different animal to wipe. No. Was, no, go ahead. Um, it said, the fine is for disobeying the signs that clearly state no pooping on dead possums between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. It's Stoop, a simple stupid. rule. That's dumb. Okay. We'll yeah, I, but I, I see what they were trying to do. I just, it, they didn't quite get it. And again, uh, somebody asked which part was illegal or did he just have warrants? Right. Um, Those are legit questions. One of the responses said pooping in public is illegal, even in Florida. So I guess that makes sense. <laughs> there it is, right there. Um, even, so, even in Florida. Trey, you always get your comment on there right it <laughs> that says, was yours well this i don't uh, i'm surprised the headline didn't read florida man arrested for pooping a dead possum oh okay uh. <laughs> <laughs> i see what they did there anyway yeah. <laughs> and somebody said of course who knew it was illegal but yeah right. yeah so pooping i just on a dead yeah, possum so many questions and we're never Floridians. Gonna, we're probably never gonna get the answers people uh, are in, to what was going on inside this guy's head yeah why uh, uh what was it a possum you said or a, a raccoon? possum possum yeah dead well, possum. Well, it was dead possum it was dead but why do you feel the need to take a dump on it like because you're from florida that's it that's well, it sounds like there isn't any more to figure plain, out plain and simple you're plain from florida <laughs> oh good good for that all right tell you what for the first time I'm going to go ahead and say we're brought to you by, although technically we're not really being brought to you by because he's not giving me shit. Has he sent a check yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I need to eat. We'll see if we do this again. Uh, my man Randy uh, has a product and it's called Randy's Rubs. This is just one of his seasonings. He he does it's steak and it's I mean it's it's it, this is this one particularly is the everything seasoning. Yeah. Um. And and his it's called Randy's Rubs, which I love the name, right? I do like a good dry rub. Yeah, <laughs> right. And he his motto is the best. It's like it's simply it don't suck, y'all. It don't suck, y'all. <laughs> I love it. And and like I said, in case you didn't see it, Randy's Rubs. This one's the everything. My wife is the most particular when it comes to seasoning. Period about she it. And she puts endorses. it on everything. It's, the, it's not just steak. It's not just you know meats. It's everything. And yeah. she she keeps telling me like get Randy to get some more of that. So uh, Randy's Rubs dot com. Randy's with an S. R A N D Y S. Rubs R U B S dot com. Dot com. Or, or Amazon. Randy's Rubs. He's uh, he's on Amazon. So very cool. Uh, I just wanted to get that out there and give my man some shout out. And he's uh, he's killing it. So uh, season up anything. Bananas. Uh, <laughs> Bananas, <laughs> waffles, uh, but possums. But, but most important, yeah, <laughs> po- God, possums. But most importantly, your steak, your burgers, your, your chicken. Meat. My wife started doing, uh, uh, putting this on the on her, her uh, chicken, and it, okay. she said that it and lamb. Anyway, oh, I bet that's good. All right, Randy, uh, you, we've done enough for you right now. Good job, buddy. <laughs> good job. I love you, and uh, I'm so proud of you, and uh, we wish you the best. So back to us, which is really where it's at, right, Trey? It's always back to us. Right. I'm just glad you're including me. <laughs> you did mean that when you said us, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so, so I was going to do, I was going to do some, you know, we have a holiday coming up. Yes. My favorite holiday. One of my least favorite. We'll get there because 
I didn't know that was your favorite holiday. It's my favorite holiday, yes. And you probably didn't realize it was my least. So I didn't know that. Apparently, no. we need to talk about this, and, and this could cause chaos amongst the listeners. <laughs> We're about to start <laughs> right and throwing track, down. Throwing down. So, but I was looking, and I and do you, do you remember, and, and you do, I, I know you're trying to block it out because of your nightly uh, PowerPoint presentation calls from... Uh, my brother Chris about yeah. World War Two. Yeah, but we did a, a like a like a quiz a trivia. Yes, I remember that. And it 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 failed <laughs> horribly. I think there were some funny parts, but overall, it just it just it didn't go smoothly, in my opinion. So, I, I, are we going to try this again? No, we're not. That's no. the point. I okay. looked at it. I said, it, "There's a Thanksgiving trivia," and it as okay, and I said, "Fuck it." No, <laughs> we're not even doing. No. It. So Thanksgiving is coming up, and the show will not be out uh, before Thanksgiving. It's two days away. I'm not going to lie to you. Not I got happening. stuff going on, people. Yeah. A little golf tea, little tea time tomorrow. <laughs> Busy. <laughs> but this will be a post-Thanksgiving treat. So why is Thanksgiving your favorite holiday? My mom's always done all her cooking on Thanksgiving, so she brings out all the wonderful foodness. I mean, all of her cooking, all the good, all the good stuff, the turkey, the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, the mac and cheese, all the. Uh, I mean, it's always so. Just, I mean, you, you get but over can't there. Can't she do that on a on any given night? No, no, no. I mean, she she's up every two hours checking this oh, fucking turkey to so make sure it's going. You know, I don't I don't care about the food. I love that the um, cowboys and indigenous peoples of our land <laughs> whatever i'm supposed to land. say these days uh, you know had this feast and and i love the the idea behind it but i should be able to eat whatever the fuck i want trey sure but i don't like turkey i like dark meat right right buddy dark meat I love dark meat but but not turkey i, I just feel like i need a steak or a beef um uh, i'm not a big bird Guy, I mean, I'll eat chicken, but I don't really care unless it's fried, right? Dark, dark fried chicken. Like the dark. I just feel like it's it's a pain in the ass to get together <laughs> and to do all this. It it takes me a lot to get comfortable in other people's homes when there's thirty people there. Yeah, everybody wants to talk to you. I haven't seen you since last year. Well, that's you're getting so big. There's a reason for that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're getting. Yeah, you're growing up so much. There was one year that. Uh, Again, first marriage, The her stepmom invited us over for dinner and everything was cool. And she made this, she made this good, it's a Dr. Pepper cola cake or something. I forgot oh, what it was. Oh, yeah. My mom Amazing. does those. Yeah, they're Amazing. good. But anyway, she made lasagna. I'm sitting there. I'm all excited. She's making us dinner and stuff like this. She's a good cook. I was like, okay, this is going to be good. We get over there. Fucking lasagna. I'm okay with it. And she said. I'm okay with it. I figured you guys would be. <laughs> tired of thanksgiving food i said no good for her give good. me more thanksgiving good food for her i will no. get a hold of her and i will be over there for her thanksgiving uh. meal all right we'll have fun this thanksgiving and i will be eating everything but thanksgiving food oh yeah Nasty. oh yeah i mean i may eat sushi <laughs> <laughs> just i'm gonna do the opposite yeah the other end of the world <laughs> just eat sushi <laughs> sushi um, okay, so if anybody's looked at our social media, which you know, I don't think anybody does. I think I think I don't know. We have I, social media. I don't know if so. If anybody, if if it doesn't show it to anybody or whatever, but we have a lot of listeners. I know that. I have proof of that. But no one wants to get on social media and say shit. They're just like whatever. So, but I um, but I put up a thing, and and it was a video. We're gonna have a guest on. I think next week, hopefully. We're going to have a couple of guests on next week, and boy, are they vastly opposite yeah. <laughs> from one another. One is a uh, petite female, and one is a, a strong male. Strapping young man. Strapping young male. And the strapping young male took Trey and I to the shooting range for yeah, gun, the gun, gun range yeah. last weekend, and I had never done that before. I know you had at one point a long Once, time ago, yeah. you said, yeah, way back in the day. So essentially we're newbies and we're in this gun range and, and it was, I feel like as soon as I walked in and I saw people shooting, I was just like, oh, holy shit. And I think we even did a little thing where it was like, we don't, we don't belong it here. It loud. But it was, you know, yeah we, had, but, yeah, we had headphones on. Yeah. But he, it was great. I had a great time and he, this, this gentleman, we won't say his name. I'm not sure how he wants to be addressed yet, but uh, let me tell you, this is a, a an army veteran. 
He did two stents in Afghanistan. He is now a children's security guard at a school, which to me, as you know, means the world. Yeah. He is a known, he claims to be actually famous in the bouncer world for nightclubs. And he's certified to be a bodyguard. Interesting. So we have our bodyguard whenever we get to that that point. You know, the whole security thing, I was talking to my buddy today, as a matter of fact, about that. And he said that he actually lost two employees because schools are paying so much money to have a trained security guard in schools yeah. now. And so the, he had two guys quit, and now they're security guards at schools. And that's so I, I'd be curious to know, you know. It's both good and bad, yeah. I mean, then these are things. These are one of many things I've. So, I just want to know about his stints in Afghanistan. Like yeah, that, that that'll that, that's just enough. But but I also have so much respect for what he does now. Yeah, that I want to know about that too. And and like you just said, uh, but that's sad. It's sad. It's both good and bad that yeah. that that, pe- that schools are saying, okay, this is one way to do things. And I've 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 screamed for that in all the gun talks we've ever done on the show. That's what I scream. Just get get some security right now until we get this shit figured out. It, and, pro- and it they're provides it worth, jobs. Yeah, they're making it worthwhile enough for a good secure, you know, to get a well-trained person to go do it as opposed to some Joe Schm- I mean, like I got my some kind of security clearance bullshit thing when I was going through school. I, I'm i sure you parents don't want me uh, <laughs> handling a weapon uh, around your kids, you know? So, um, I yeah. just. And just because I've known you for so long, just the idea of you like walking around the school trying to act all badass. Right. So, uh, you know, it's funny you think about you walking around like that, but it, it this, <laughs> we went up to my kid's school for a Thanksgiving, or no, it was a Halloween, Halloween. It was like a Halloween uh, indoor because it was raining and shit. Right. A, a little fair and Halloween party and everybody got, kids got dressed up. And I swear we were in line for this Halloween parade where the kids march through class by class and their little outfits. Right. We're by the coffee. They had a coffee, uh, uh, you know, vendor that was making lattes. It took 30 minutes to get a damn With or coffee. without alcohol. Yeah, right. And so all of a sudden, one of the security guards in our school walks by and he's got his like legit assault rifle. I don't care what Tim wants to call it. It was a legit... And he looked like he was about to go to war. No shit. Walking around, just 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 walk, just looking around at a at a fucking kid's school for their Halloween thing, and the, and the school only goes up to like, not even kindergarten. Yeah, it's like pre K four. And I both, I, I was both like, hey dude, like, <laughs> you are you're killing it tonight. You look you look the part. Taking but at the same serious. time, I was also going, hey, this sucks that you have to do this. And it makes me feel better, but it also makes me feel sad for the world. Anyway, so we did the sh- we did the shooting range, and it was fun. And and we were, you know, he he told us that we were the best, f- like first beginner students that he's ever had. Which scares me. Which scares me, but I'll, also I'm like, really, like, you, I mean, you I probably, saw you blush a you, little you, bit. You tell that to all the all, <laughs> <laughs> all the guys, all, all the guys. <laughs> And, that play and with you know, his guns. And admittedly, Trey and I were pretty good. I'm not. I'm not I lying. We were pretty good. Pretty good. I, we kept. Once a, I figured out how to aim. We, we kept a few of our. <laughs> <laughs> once I found the fucking red dot. Once on he the told damn me scope. how to aim, then I was like, "Oh, okay, this is not so bad." <laughs> I couldn't see the red dot on the scope. It's a lot harder than duck hunt. <laughs> anyway, so. yeah. But but I brought my. I think we were like little kids. We brought our uh, our targets home, and I was yeah. like showing my wife. I was like, "Hey, check out." Yeah. So we had a good time, and uh, and I look forward to having him on for so many reasons. So uh, thanks to him, and, and go check it out. It's kind of a fun a fun little uh, compilation video that uh, we put together. So uh, <laughs> real fast, you need to know that in Italy, again, I'm, I'm just, I'm rolling here. In Italy, there was a, a lion <laughs> that escaped. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a nice segue. Fuck the Segway. Let's just Italy well, I, I, and yeah, a lion. I realize we, who, no one gives a shit about our gun range. Like no. oh, whatever. We'll move on to Italy. With yeah, the, so Italy in Rome, there's a small community outside of Rome, and this lion escaped from the circus. <laughs> no shit. And the reason that I'm telling this, and again, I like animal stories, as we all know. You know, I still think of Humphrey the hippo. Humphrey, <laughs> yep. You took down his I owner. Mean, 
don't think, don't own what do we say don't own a hippo don't own a hippo it's pretty funny i think yeah. of the orcas i think i think of all sorts of of animals so i saw this and i was like okay how does it escape the, the circus you're supposed yeah. to kind of have your shit together right you've done this before you hope and there's video and what made it so funny to me was i saw so many video angles from people of this lion just cruising down the street at night, just like in the city. Like, hey what's guys. up? <laughs> Nodding. King some of person, the jungle here. The person in his car just had his camera, like as the lion walked by his car and the lion looks up, he's like, hey. <laughs> wow. It's like, it was so weird. And um, Mayor Alessandro Grando, he yeah. warned, he said, I was, uh, he said uh, the following, uh, translated in English. I got voted for him, sorry. <laughs> he said, uh, I advise you to stay away from the lion. <laughs> <laughs> Those Italians, man, you can't get anything by I mean, them. other, I, I don't know if his uh, political <laughs> opponent would have said different. Yeah, that's why he's making the big money. But there's a guy, what was so funny was uh, there was a guy on one of the videos and he was like, <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to you, this isn't a joke. I'm watching it and he goes, mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's every stereotype that you think is that Italian for oh shit <laughs> I guess when we think about it it's, when we think of mamma mia I mean it's like it's like our little like when I do a fake Italian accent yeah you know, like that mamma mia. The mamma mia he's like oh mamma mia Holy as the shit. lion walks by and so to make a long story short or short story short they they, they took it down with sedatives of course okay at least they didn't shoot it thank god but they took it down with sedatives. And, they, and usually they said the power of the sedative, one sedative should have taken this thing down without any problems and it would have been down. And it wouldn't go down. Oh, no. It just sit walking around like. What's up? <laughs> What's up? You got another one? What was that? Yeah. Throwing it. Yeah. So they hit him again and he goes down and he kind of gets whatever. And as they approach him, I swear to you, they said as they approached him one minute later, he gets up. Oh, shit. <laughs> two was it with these darts is that what they were like, okay yeah and so one of them should have taken him down and then two of them didn't do it they had to they had to put like four or five of these things and the, did they put anything in the dart or on know. the dart did they forget that i part? don't know but at, by then if you hit me four times with a dart i'm gonna be start this lion it's gonna piss me off apparently the lion was real calm he's like fine you know like it, i'll it's, just chill it was the it was the funniest <clears> thing so i i wanted to mention that any animal stories like that i'm gonna tell you that's a good. How do you feel about that? Okay, now into the funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny already. Um, what you need to know now is also about animals. <sighs> I think they named this this type of bat after myself. It's called the serotine bat. A serotine a bat. Serotine bat. And a serotine. And it has a penis about seven times <laughs> long. <laughs> seven. <laughs> Seven times longer than its partner's vagina. Holy shit. And so what it does, and the, the female bat has a tail sheath okay. that is known to like block its vagina. Oh, that's so that it's an attempt to not allow the, the male to like just do what he wants. Destroyer. So what happens is apparently the penis is used to move that out of the way. And then they just like hold each other and rub. And then the sperm, if you will, gets in there. And some of these acts take like an hour and a half. The longest one they said was 12 and a half hours. Dang. One time they were watching, they've watched over 9,700 uh, bat matings. <laughs> That's a lucky female bat right there. But oh, they don't want it. That's the point. They're trying to cover it with that tail, but that uh, big old cock. <laughs> <laughs> seven, times? seven times as big as the vagina. Damn. What did you call those women sometimes on the dating app that said they were ready to receive? Size queens. Whew, those those female bats are unintentional size queens. They I mean, don't want they, to be a size queen. No, I, I, I just, they couldn't pass this bat story. I mean, seven times That's as big as the vagina. What are you supposed to do? How does he fly with that thing? <laughs> I, don't, I swear it's just slapping people I as he's flying by it's, with it. It just looks like there's just a thing hanging. I mean, just go, go look up pictures of this thing. <laughs> but anyway, so there's that story. 
how would you like another one? I mean, I'm I'm full of them tonight. Not big dick bats. No, something different. No, this this one is a whole different deal. Big dick whales. And I no, no, no animals this time. Okay. And I and I just couldn't pass it up because I just. It's just like I've I've said it before, and I and hopefully we say it again because it means we've got something good. Okay. I just feel like when you've when you've heard it all, when I've heard it all, there's something new. Oh, this is new. I've never I've never heard this before. Let, let me tell you, there's a man I'm trying to get his um, he's French. Okay. And you know, so Fr- France to me is Florida to you. Right. I have a love-hate relationship with the French. The French are assholes. And this guy, uh, Monsieur uh, Man... Manga, You're not it, good with In the... Texan, it's Mangatout. Mangatout. <laughs> Over there, it's um, Monchtou, probably, something like that. And so he, at a young age, dis, uh, uh, discovered that he liked to eat uh, glass... Uh, the bottles out of what he's drinking. Uh, uh, I've heard about this, yeah. You've heard about this yeah. kind of thing? In 1978, he began eating an airplane. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you say what? You said he's in, he's French, He's right? French. Okay. And he began eating an airplane. And uh, and now I forget that. It's a, I think it was a... Dang, I think it was a Cessna. He started oh, yeah. in 1978. The Cessna, it's a Cessna 150, so I don't think it's a large... It's not like a 787 that goes over to England now. You right. Know? But it's still... It's a, it's a, a plane. It's an entire plane. Yeah. The, every part of it. It's a Cessna 150 airplane. He began it in 1978. He finished it two years later in 1980. He ate the whole plane. And he ate it. He I, I, when you look at something like this, you're going, it, but, but apparently I, I, I researched it a little bit, which believe it or not, we sometimes do on this show. Well, you do. Anyway. And, and it was, and it, it doctors were saying he has a, a digestive system that like gastroenterology, <laughs> gastro, blah, 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 blah. sounded legit. Yeah. I, until I got to the last <clears throat> part, gastro and the gastro doctors were saying that his body allows it. It was di- that he can digest things like metal, glass. He was doing really, it. and that it's, a, it's the- and it was a very rare case. <clears throat> so, over the course of his career of eating, <laughs> his diet has included eighteen bicycles, of course, seven TV sets, yeah, two beds, fifteen supermarket trolleys, <laughs> a, a computer, a coffin, a pair of skis, and six chandeliers. <laughs> Please tell me this guy is single. He's skinny too. Like, really? <laughs> he'd like, I don't know, blow it up. God damn. And I don't know though. Like, if he's able to do that, uh, I'm trying to see, you know, like age and. Can you imagine uh, the bowel he, movements of uh, this he, guy? He passed away. <laughs> what does that look like? Holy shit. What does that look like? What does it smell like? Did he have to clean, Metal? like, you know, so like the plane, any kind of chemicals off this plane, any oil, I don't any know. gas, any. Is his uh, poo poo? Shiny and metallic looking. Right. Can you imagine how painful those edges coming out? Well, he passed away <laughs> of natural causes. Yeah. Natural causes. I don't mean to laugh. This is part of it. people yeah, laughing at the death. But but come on, he ate a he ate a goddamn Cessna, <laughs> and he passed away of natural causes in 2007 at the age of 57. No shit. Natural um, causes my ass. He. <laughs> He left behind an incredible legacy as a man with one of the most unusual diets ever recorded. No shit. Uh, so. I'm sure the doctor said it was natural causes. Well, they're saying. He didn't want to get blamed for letting his dumb ass eat all this shit. Well, they're saying his, his biology g- gave him an unusual okay. problem where soft foods like bananas, things like that were Normal sh- a struggle to eat. Um, that he had side effects. <laughs> <laughs> but that a metallic airplane <laughs> was fine. Yeah, the fine. bicycle. Yeah. His stomach didn't care. Yeah, the bicycles, the uh, all that. Can you so, imagine him being invited to a potluck at the at the <laughs> office? You, you got know? a little yeah, a wing, like an airplane wing over there for him. Or, <laughs> need some help getting this on the table, guys. Do you got any mustard to put on this? Come on. 
<laughs> Guys, I need mustard and ketchup for this. Say, uh, who invited Pierre to the fucking potluck again? Pierre. Don't we already know this is not the right person to invite? Anyway. Well, I think that's one of my favorite stories. <laughs> I just can't even... Seriously. And, and I looked in and there's some there's multiple sources. This wasn't like a Did it say if he doused it in actual I like seasoning? Know. We can get Randy's rubs on the yeah, yeah, on but, fucking airplane yeah. wing. Randy's rubs for airplane yeah. uh, engine. Tires. Yeah, but that would make it delicious. I hope. Well the tires I think would be like dessert. That's like the soft the rubber. The soft, yeah. Did he so I'm sure he has some type of utensil where he cut pieces of the plane off? I I don't know. There's a picture of him literally biting the bicycle, <laughs> like without anything. I just I bet going his parents to, were proud. Thought too, you heard everything. Too many jokes. Yeah, I mean, I really did. I, 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 I have never heard of a man eating. And, and, you know, take the airplane out of the equation. That's the funny part. He ate an entire Cessna over two years. But all the other things I just said that he ate. Yeah. 18 bicycles. <laughs> I wonder what made him stop at 18. He died. <laughs> he died. From natural causes. Natural causes, yeah. It wasn't the metal and shrapnel and, and everything in the his system. body. So there's that. Um, in our amazing segues, I'm going to go from man eats metal and airplanes and died of natural causes to something that, that, that you know, I came across the other day, and some of you have probably heard about it. I'm going fast during my segues, but that's better than when I babble, right? Yeah. Yeah. I would say yes. You would say it. Um, okay. So enough about the plane guy. <clears throat> I'm jumping with serious. Uh, you know, we talked a little bit about the border. We talked about illegal immigration. We've talked about different things like that. Yeah. We're going to bring it back over here. And I'm, I'm sure I'll bring up what's going on in, in the Gaza Strip. Uh, in a minute. Um, but over here in this country, there was literally, and I, and if I'm, if I'm using the word literally, it means it's legit, you know, I'm, I'm being serious. Yeah. A, a, a couple of people, but one in particular, this man, Michael Castajon, Castajon. Sounds legit. Not from here, from South of here, if you will. Okay. Actually from Venezuela, 39 years old. He came over here with his wife and stepdaughter illegally across the border. Okay. And was one of the uh, immigrants, illegal immigrants, and I have no problem saying that, so yell at me all you want, who, who uh, our governor here in Texas sent, put on a, a bus and sent up to a, uh, in this case, Chicago. Okay. So they were bussed up to uh, Chicago because Chicago is one of the sanctuary cities okay. in this country, uh, which means they're saying, bring them all to us. We'll take all of the migrants. We'll take all of the people seeking asylum. Everybody, come up come up to, to Chicago or San Francisco or New York or all these, these places. Okay. So is they're Texas up not one of those? <laughs> no. No. Uh, I think Austin might be the first in texas if it if it was to be and it's close so you know but but they haven't uh, uh declared that as of yet gotcha so this guy goes up to chicago and he his wife and stepdaughter uh sleep in a combination of police precincts and uh, city shelters okay. for about five months and he's unable to obtain a work permit in that time. Fair enough. We have rules. His stepdaughter is not allowed to enroll in free free school. Okay. Because we have rules. They haven't gone through that process. So he literally said the following. There's no such thing as the American dream. Which, you know, maybe it... Maybe it shouldn't upset me like it did, but I'm just, I'm, I'm sitting there just kind of like, uh, I mean, this is an example. This is the problem. And so I'll tell you what, 20,000, around 20,700 is the estimate, went from Texas to Chicago, you know, illegal. 20,000? Yeah, illegal wow. immigrants. And that's just, uh, let me tell you how many, I wrote it down here somewhere. <laughs> 
there are uh, there was like 3.2 million illegal immigrants throughout the United States last now? year came in th- from the southern border. Wow, wow, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, but there were 20,000 that went in this particular instance from Texas to Chicago. That's a lot of people. Yeah. So he, <laughs> this guy goes. Well, our opportunity has kind of been depleted because of the waves of migrants coming up here. Well, that's the point. This was from the guy. Yeah, this guy is talking to me. He's like, well, there's too many, too many of us. Well, that's the point that we're making. So he's upset that more. He's upset him. that other people like him wanted things too. <laughs> what, Holy shit. What, what bothers me is that they, they think of the American dream as just everything's going to be given to you. If we can just get there, we'll be taken care of. Well, this country can't just take care of every single person in the world. So that's not how it works. If I were to no. just go to Canada, there's not a job waiting for me? No, no. I mean, A free apartment, none of that? No. I mean, I, I, they think that, that Americans, we actually have to work and, and find a way to make money versus they should just come here and be given everything, yeah. right? And sadly... Unfortunately, it does happen a little bit, and so that's that's the issue. And I, and when I heard this, I got really upset, and I just thought to myself, "This is the problem. Everybody thinks the American dream means that." Well, let me tell you what the American dream means. This is verbatim: the American dream is the belief that anyone, regardless of where they were born or what class they were born into, so fair enough. At this point, it, it all applies can attain their own version of success in a, in a society which upward mobility is possible for everyone. Well, upward mobility and their own version of success, to me, means you come here the right way and you do what everybody else does, which is pursue greatness, pursue, contribute to society. Right. That doesn't mean you're just going to come here and say, oh, we'll pay for everything. Right. So that's my kind of my rant, and it's quick tonight, but it's 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 enough. It's for here's a little bit. Here's a tidbit. Here I wrote down on my notes. Try. I take notes. Well, I'm, go ahead. I was just gonna say. So he he's upset that he came across illegally, and there was no job, no housing, no schools for his daughter. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't a no job. It was he couldn't get a work permit because you can't just snap your fingers and get a work permit. Gotcha. You have to go through the right way. Same with the school. There are plenty of schools, but you're not going to be able to enroll because you're not a citizen. Go ahead. How do you get a work permit? Do you know? You go through, well, you go through, you have apply and this, and that's what I was going to tell you. So foreigners seeking asylum are required to wait at least 150 days in their home country after oh. after submitting the application for work. Gotcha. So you Jumped can't just a bit. you can't jump across the border through what we learned was barbed wire and <laughs> all kinds of shit. Yeah. You can't Movies. just jump across, come in here and work. If you do that, you're supposed to stay in your country for 150 days. It's not like you can come here and go, oh, I'll just, you know, dick around for five months and then I'll work. You stay in your country, you wait to, you wait for the response and then you're allowed to come here on a, a permit. And that's my understanding of that. And that still seems pretty, pretty quick. You can come here and, 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 and you know, go for whatever. But finally the, the people in Chicago were, you know, for a long time were like, Oh yeah, we'll be that. We we'll welcome. And now they're, it's overwhelmingly kind of like we're done with this. The the, the the people that live there. Yeah, I can imagine. But the last stat I'll give you just to put things in perspective is Chicago alone has requested five hundred and fifty million dollars just for illegal migrants. That's a lot of money. Just for I mean look, for like housing for, and shelter. Yeah, for sh- feeding them shelter. Yeah. I mean, all these people twenty thousand people. Or needing a place to live and food and clothing and this and that and whatever. You think they'll start raising taxes? But well, that's the point. The taxpayers are paying for this. I didn't. Oh, I left that little part out. Uh. And that's 
the issue. And if and it's not it's not Trey and myself, mainly me rambling, being unsympathetic to people. It's it's just you can't. It's not a free for all. It's impossible. Yeah. In the world, you can't have that. You have to have law and order, rules and regulations. People come up here and and they do it the wrong way. It's not going to work out. I admit I'm I'm one of the lucky ones that was born here. I, I'm sorry. I'm not going to apologize for that, but I'm also I'm, I'm also not going to say that it should be a free for all either because then the people that are, are here are it's just a mess. You have to you cannot have a country without secure borders and without law and order. Those are my and that's my opinion. I hold strong on the idea that there are so many people that are doing it the right way. They're the ones that deserve to be here. I've, I've met I've met quite a few of them in my life. And they're sitting here going, what is up with this illegal, oh, this open border stuff? And people come in here and using tax money. And here I am working and I did it the right way. I waited, you know, I had one one gentleman, I think he was from Bulgaria. So he waited like nine years. Mm. And he was all over the place trying to escape communist Bulgaria. Yeah. I was going to write his life story and into a book because it was so crazy. Yeah. And he did it and waited. And now he's here and he works, makes good money and contributes to society has a family and there you go and he did it the right way yeah not that you have to come here and make a lot of money whatever but you know what i'm saying right so let's move on from that i i it just it just pissed me off that this there's no american dream well there there is dude and and you're just unwilling to do it the right way yeah do you agree or disagree i agree you better i think why <laughs> i just i guess what frustrates me is he's bitching at us there's no american it, that's dream. what got me that's what got me. Are you really bitching at us? I mean, the bottom line is you're still being put into shelters, and you're still you're not you're, you're not literally on the street. You're, you're sleeping in places. Yeah. You're giving food. They're, they're feeding them. You could seriously sit here, quote unquote, on the streets for how long and still get fed and 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 sheltered right. to a to a point. And you're and you're complaining. You're upset about that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so screw that. Um, speaking of. Serious stuff. Let's go back across the ocean <laughs> real fast. I don't want to get into this because we have we have five more states to get into <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to out. But then and our football at. picks and our football picks. I have a lot, we have lots to do real fast. We got to get this done uh, real fast though. Um, we have had no Palestinian offers from any of you. To no kidding. To say, uh, and I put it out in in clip form and in, in preview form as well, so you didn't even have to listen to the show. Uh, and and I've it's it's been proven that these clips have been watched and or listened to by thousands of people, thousands. And so, you know, it's frustrating because I, I was hoping to get at least somebody that said that would at least just message us, give me a paragraph of what the deal is. Yeah. So if you're listening now, you, it, it, there was no time limit, and you can still do it. Yeah. Go on to YouTube and subscribe if you want to. Leave us a message on one of those video clips and just tell us exactly how you feel. And, and, we'll, and we'll use it. You don't have to talk to us or call or whatever. Um, that would be good to hear, yeah. But, but just something. Just give us something. And, and, and no, every, it's almost like everybody's just like, uh, it's not. It, it makes me honestly sit here and go, they got nothing. And, and I'm going to say it. People aren't going to like to hear that. Um, there's a woman named Suela. Consuela? Not Consuela. That would be like South American. Oh, okay. Pro Suela. Pro Suela? She's more positive. <laughs> She's an optimist. <laughs> She's an optimistic Suela. Optimist Suela. <laughs> Just Suela. S U E L L A. It's Suela Braverman. So anybody that knows politics. Suela Braverman. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, must, I, she must be married because if you look at her picture, she's definitely, uh, she's not Karen Jones. You yeah. know what I mean? Betty Braverman. Yeah, right. Um, Braverman. And she is a, a UK, so she's over in England, a conservative politician. And she spoke up about the, the Palestinian protests that were happening in all over England, but in London mainly, 
and how they were calling for jihad. They were calling for war. They are calling for uh, uh, jihad is religious war, uh, killing anybody that's not Muslim. And in this case, that's kind of how, what Hamas is preaching and, and, and wow. m- more more or less about the Jews, but Christians are included too in, in, in jihad. That's what uh, Osama, as well, they all talked about when it came to us in, in the United States. And so you've got a big group of Palestinian flags out in London who are saying, kill everybody. And this politician, who, who admittedly is, is, over there it's a little different, but you would consider her more right wing, even though it's a little different over there o- overall. And she came out and said, hey, this is bullshit. Why are we sitting here just, okay, the police are out there just like letting them chant, kill people, kill people. Right. Essentially. I mean, I don't know what they were, how, how I don't I'm not going to try and do an Arabic accent. Okay. You, you might. I'm a little disappointed in that. You might. I would get so many comments if I tried that. But, um, and so she gets, uh, she, she says, you know, to, to the prime minister, this is, this is bullshit. You know, right. the police need to be harder. Why are the Israeli ones being come down on? So they're being stricter on stricter is what her, the, her, her claim. I, okay. I'm not there. I wasn't on the Israeli I, people. Well, well, we, I have no problem putting London on our world tour, but it, it, we weren't there now. Been there, yeah. And yeah, I've been there too, but we have to go together for the show. And so it, it, she spoke up and she was very disappointed. And she said that there was a whole thing where they're going to try and and send some of these Palestinian refugees over to to another country. I don't know what it was, but there was a whole thing. And she called out the prime minister and he fired her. <laughs> wow. The next day. He's like, okay, you no, you're out. And, and it was because she obviously made him feel pretty uncomfortable. And I think it's because everybody kind of knows that she's right. This is weird. Yeah. All of this Palestinian stuff in the Western society, England, the United States, wherever, with these chants of, look, if you chant, chant or whatever you do in these protests, like, hey, uh, uh, you know, leave us alone in Gaza, you know, leave us our own our land or whatever, that's fine. But when you're calling for jihad, when you're Kill calling yeah. for death, when you're cheering it on on what Hamas did and the way they did it, the brutality, that to me is nothing to, to celebrate, to no. embrace. And, uh, and, and that's what's happening in our country over there. And this lady called it out and gets fired. So where, why is it? Why are we so scared to, to call out? Uh, of that side of things, right. I just feel like there's something, and I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. So, do you have any? I mean, do you do you have any ideas? No, that's or, wild. I, I just wanted yeah. to mention that that the lady. Fact that she got fired. I mean, there's why is there not a discussion about it? Why why is <laughs> yeah. immediately firing yeah. her? I know that's kind of like um, I'm taking my ball and going home. Like right. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna mess with this. Right. And and I think that's the that's a sign. Are there people that are rising up on her behalf as far as why she got fired? I mean, fired? there's been there's been people that protest that too, but it's like a protest of a protest of a protest. You know, it's a lot of protest. A lot of protest, and you know, people have come out and said that she was wrongfully fired and that she was trying. To, and it, and again, it's it's over there. It's not quite. I don't think it's quite as bad as over here. But it's it's one side versus the other. Yeah. So you come out and people are saying, what's the problem with her? She's she's speaking the truth, at least listen, and they're going well. It's already done, too late, and she's come back, and of course she's firing back verbally at the guy, and she, now she's she's not employed by yeah, him, but so she's she like fuck this all. guy, yeah, yeah. I hope she does too, yeah, and I and I need to because again I'm not I'm not picking sides when it comes to politics. Trey and I aren't sitting here going we're right wing now because of this, but in this case, this quote unquote right wing politician has it right in my opinion yeah you can't just sit here and, and oh everyone has the right to protest but what but when they're protesting and they're actually calling for death for for death to 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 us to western people that's half of what osama bin laden preached was the western culture that is the problem yeah and so um uh, Suela, cons- <laughs> uh, Prosuela, Consuela. Consuela. We're Prosuela over yeah, here. Yeah, we're Prosuela. 
uh, uh, good luck with what you do and uh, hopefully get it figured out. But I wanted to mention that to everybody. <laughs> All right, Dre. Go ahead. What um, What's the next state? Next state is... <laughs> Ryan, you're ready. Are you ready? The next state is Oregon. Oregon, best fucking ducks or some shit. This one is the most prescription painkiller abuse. Oh, oh, that's kind of interesting. Okay, yeah. and so all right, people, listen. Maybe this is a good five. Says <laughs> follow follow these two rules when it comes to painkillers and organs. Don't touch their Percocets. <laughs> and do you have any Percocets? <laughs> Don't touch them. Meaning like like. People will attack you like it. And I had to Google what what a Percocet was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Next one. We, we agreed to go through these fast. Next one is Pennsylvania. And theirs is Worst Bridges. Oh, Worst Bridges. So it says there are 22,660 bridges in the state, but just 23% of those are considered structurally <laughs> deficient. What? <laughs> Structurally efficient. It says deficient in there. Oh, which so doesn't tw- make but, sense. But well, still twenty three percent. So crossing efficient. a bridge over there can become a <laughs> a prey or be preyed <laughs> over kind of such over a kind of a situation. Anyway, can you imagine going every bridge you go over? You're like, please, please, please. please. Let me make it. Let <laughs> don't me fall, make don't it. Don't fall. Don't fall. You you, hear, you are all of a sudden you have a little little bump and you're like, oh god. All right, Pennsylvania. Next. So uh, number three, Rhode Island, highest teacher absenteeism. <laughs> so they just mean that they're they're employed teachers. They they, they need they need up. more substitutes there than anybody else. So it says more than half the teachers in Rhode Island have missed more than ten days of the work during the school year, while one in five missed at least twenty days of school. Oh my God! And well, the schools fall for employing them if they miss twenty days. Yeah, it says if a student did this, they'd be held back. Yeah. So what's funny is that Rhode Island's teachers get paid more than the ones in the South. Ooh, that's what I was going to ask. That was going to. Oh, go ahead, South Dakota. South Dakota, just a random state, so they get what? paid more than the ones in South Dakota. Well, I was going to ask if, like, what the, if, if it's because the salary's low, or if, I mean, if mm. anyway, go ahead. But no, they get paid more than yeah. South Dakota teachers. <laughs> Boring. I like the other ones. Better. South Dakota teachers get a lot of. Yeah, money. apparently, is that the standard? <laughs> um, Are the bridges in Pittsburgh not as good as South Dakota? <laughs> apparently not. South Carolina, um, most violent crime. Really? It says, um, and that's a sincere, really, because South Carolina. I don't crime? Know. Crime. I never thought, never Myrtle, I never thought Myrtle Beach, like. Crime? Crime. Now you do. It hmm. says, uh, out of all the 50 states, South Carolina has the highest rate of violent crime hmm. coming in at 766 per 100,000 residents. Said so the whole concept of Southern hospitality. Nope. Damn. Wow. I I always thought of South Carolina as one of those places that was like pleasant. But anyway, I'm going to rethink going oh. to Myrtle Beach for golf. Then Next. South Dakota. No. <laughs> well, here we go. Apparently their teachers are paid. What? Lowest paid teachers. No way. <laughs> so, okay, look. You can't put... <laughs> should I even? Should I even get into this? You can't put... Something like that on a state that alphabetically comes before. Yeah. Messes up the. <sighs> so the lowest paid teachers yeah. are in South Dakota. How low can they possibly be paid? And it says uh, it's not just the teachers in South Dakota, though, since everyone gets paid less statewide. South Dakota has the lowest salaries in the nation. So bad news for employees, but good news for employers. Well, I my first instinct would be because the cost of living is probably pretty low. I guess. So it doesn't, you don't need, I mean, but it doesn't give you a, a, a median uh, no. salary for teachers. Jesus, what could it be? I mean, if the lowest paid, what's the lowest paid teacher in the, in the world? Anyway. But guess what? Next show, we jump into the T's. So we're getting closer to 10. Was that five? That was five. Thank God. <laughs> so we're getting closer to Texas? Yeah. It's going to suck. Don't look forward. Don't look ahead. Okay. You know it's going to be so disappointing. Yeah. Or, and just, we'll just quit. Just fuck it. There's only, there's only 39 states. <laughs> fuck it. So uh, <laughs> awareness tonight. We'll hurry up because imagine that. Ryan talked a lot tonight. 
Um, Trey, are you still there? Huh? <laughs> are you aware we're doing a show still? I'm awareness of ourself. <laughs> You're aware. Awareness, yeah. Okay. So I thought I would. Do you want to do yours first? You have one tonight. Or do you want me to go first? Go ahead. Okay. okay. I'm going to go first. I thought I'd do something interesting tonight. I'm excited about this. It's not that exciting. <laughs> it's not that it, exciting. It's not. I'm excited. Well, it caused... It, well, the exciting part is it caused... <laughs> it kept kind of kept going. <laughs> yeah. And that is I asked my wife to tell me what I should be more self-aware of. Nice. Self. How is she not still talking right now? <laughs> I think she is. I hear her up there. I got another one. You got a list. Did you have to narrow it down? She couldn't think of it. It took her, I mean, literally five to ten minutes. I'm sitting there. We're in the kitchen. She's making her dinner. I'm feeding the kids. We're doing this. And I'm like, are you have, are you struggling with this because you can't think of anything, which I think is the reason? Or is it because there are so many? I'm trying to figure out which one to point <laughs> She's out. She's ranking them one through five, and most important. But she she came up with a couple, and, and they're... They're okay. I mean, they're not exciting. One is we have a beautiful bar. You've seen it. Yes. It's a, and, and I think that the bar, <laughs> I'm going to say it. I think the bar is more of the man's responsibility. <laughs> okay. Right? Women? Stay away from the bar. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not where you're going. You know what? Stay away from the bar. Okay. Stay away from the bar. You can go in there and get your vodka, you know, fruit, cranberry, uh, cranberry, whatever. But stay with the bar. I have some good scotch, I have this and that set, and I set it aside. But occasionally, okay, more than occasionally, I leave the empty bottles and the boxes and all that. You know, they're just kind of there because I I like my scotch, and so. Um, you need the empty box to let you know. It's her first thing about the she's a lot about the bar. She's unhappy because the rest of the house looks a certain way, and then my I call it my bar looks a whole different way. Yeah, and there are items in there that she doesn't like. She doesn't like my Pittsburgh Steeler beer holder helmet. <laughs> <laughs> um, beer holder helmet. Yes, yeah, so you put your beer in it, and it's a, and you hold the face well, mask, of course, yeah. right? I, I, and I'm I'm shocked. <laughs> I said you don't, you, you don't like that. I thought you wanted me to get another one. Sounds you. like you need to put some of these items in other parts of the house so it so you spread it out. Yeah, so I mean, it matches. That's I think that's their problem. Is that's match. what it is. Uh, the second thing is I have a, a Jonathan Davis, a, a, a singer of Corn, my favorite band, as right. we all know. Uh, Jonathan Davis, a, a big candle. <laughs> some random <laughs> shit uh, in the bar, but it, it, to me it matches and it looks great. Yeah. Next to my scotch. Um, you know, there's some other things. And it just she thinks certain things should be in the drawer. And that was one, her one trash. thing. She goes, I just can't. <laughs> trash. I can't handle the bar. And I said, well, <laughs> this is, I'm glad that it took me this to find out. Because it seems like this is really bothering you. Yeah. Let me see what I can do for you. So tonight I took the empty boxes of <laughs> scotch right before we started the show. And lit I said, your candle. I held her. I held her up. I I held it up to her. I said, "Look what I'm doing." And she, she kind of just shook her head, but because she knows that's not going to last. Yeah. <laughs> she does anyway. The second thing, uh, and this is interesting because I've bitched about her loading the dishwasher before. Okay. She's complaining about me unloading the dishwasher. Oh. She says I take all the things that I don't know that she uses. Okay. And I just kind of set them over by the stove <laughs> <laughs> so that she can put them all away. Gotcha. But she you has don't some, know where they go. She has some weird shit. Yeah. Like, I don't know what this, what is this contract? Contra like, what is this? And, and I said, well, and she goes, you need to learn where things go in our home. <laughs> That's fair. I, I God, I want to yell at you, but I, I just, I guess she's right. Is That's she right? Fair. I said, all right, well, I started, I started right away. I was like, well, see that over there. Like, where does that usually go? And I we to take the class. So those are her two main ones. The last one is one that really she and I are not going to agree on because I think if you're in a marriage, oh, this is going to be good. Loving or not, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have needs. Okay. And this is not going where people think it's going to go. Oh, it's just it's a little minor version of it. 
I am obsessed with having, um, I like the scratches. Okay. Light, the, the light, the light scratch. Right. Just the, the touch. Yeah. From your wife. I like that. When watching a show, usually fucking Bravo or whatever the hell she's got me watching. Yeah. Um, acting like I don't like it. But I'll, I'll kind of like just put my foot on her. <laughs> just like. <laughs> just randomly. Stick it over there and just put it on her. And, and then, you know, eventually you hear this. <sighs> and she like throws her hand on my. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm literally, and people that are watching. I'll show you people that aren't. I mean, it's literally just just do this. I mean, just it's yeah. like a little the the an inch of just little light scratches. It's all I want on the foot. Yeah, uh, well, or the leg or wherever, just somewhere. I just want just my, touch me, damn it. My wife, <laughs> touch me, damn it. It's my hashtag. <laughs> but that's all I want for it's my for my hashtag. loving wife. Just give me a little scratchies. Yeah, that just whatever. That makes sense, yeah. And it's but it, but it's like the it's like I've asked her to to go through uh, officer training in the Marines, <laughs> just like I like the sigh. <laughs> it's just yeah, the she because it's obvious. She makes it obvious. She's like, or she'll grab my she'll grab my foot and pull it to her because she knows I'm like I'm trying to get her to do it anyway. So those are the three. There's, okay, nothing too exciting. But the, she said she's gonna come up with some more. <laughs> Anyway, those are my three. Do you have one? Head scratches and stuff like that. Oh, God, the head. Yeah. And she goes, get one of those things that you can scratch your head uh, with. And I'm like, it's, you, thank you. Is that, okay. Is it bad when I go get a haircut and a man's washing <laughs> my hair? <laughs> I'm enjoying it. That's bad, isn't it? No. Just shut your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> shut your eyes. Look. <laughs> I'll tell you, look, we've gone, we've gone a little over tonight. Surprise, surprise. Let me tell you a very fast story. When I was on my honeymoon on a cruise ship, they had a lovely spa. And it, 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 it was, we're in Europe, technically. I mean, we're in you know, Italy and Croatia and whatever. But the, the staff on the cruise, they're all, they're all Italian too or Eastern yeah. European so when my wife called to schedule our massages on one of the days, she requested that she have, you know, a male and I have a female. And they, they mixed it up. They, uh, Oops. they switched it. So I had this huge Serbian guy come out and go, Ryan? <laughs> and I'm like, nope. <laughs> I was like, I guess that's Her me. name's Ryan. I, I accepted it. I just, I, I said, all right, it. fine. I'm not going to be this way. It's fine. Did this this man as a professional, and the whole time, he'd hit certain like spots of the leg, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> daddy, <laughs> like these Serbian men know what they're doing, know what they're and, doing. and and I was and then I'd stop, and I'm like, this doesn't feel good at all. Like I wish I had that other, uh, but but so it, I, it. I know what you're saying. It, you're sitting there going, and then he kept telling me how to make sure that I had a certain oil and this, and, and I need to put this on my foot. And how your butt felt <laughs> tight. You release some of this tension. <laughs> oh, my testicles felt a little, <laughs> a little swollen. <laughs> but anyway, that Hold was. Hold on, my, I got one. I got one. <laughs> no, I'm saying that was my story about about uh, the, the man thing. <laughs> I got a good one. Go ahead. So, same scenario. Me and my ex were going to get massages. She she found on uh, some site. Anyway, it was down in Oakland. That was great. Thank you for that information. Yeah. It was on some site. Yeah. Some <laughs> some site that she found deals on. I forgot what it was called. Anyway. Yeah. Remember, we no one knows what Oakland is if they live oh, in it's Serb a street. It's a street where... In Dallas, Texas. In Dallas, Thanks Texas, you. where it tend to be more homosexuals. Oh, I see where you're going. Area. There you go. Anyway, so we get there. The female, no shit, was about 6'5". <laughs> WNBA. And the guy... The guy. So I look at her, I'm like... Are you sure? Which one do you want? <laughs> like, I want the female. Oh, God damn I bet it. she roughed her up. <laughs> so I was, I was fine until you feel... You know how they get going down the back and it goes to the forearm and yeah, the elbow? Yeah. So when I start feeling the tuft of hair on his 
forearms going up my back with the lotion and stuff like this. I'm just like, that's where it got me uncomfortable a little bit. Not that there's anything wrong with not at all. man love. That was, but that was if you're not into that, um, look, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, it, it, I part of the, and it's, and it's also therapeutic because physical, physical therapy, because I do have issues with hips. Mm-hmm. Like my hips and like upper leg and the upper thigh and that that region. The oh uh, yeah, he got into upper the glutes. Thigh. But I'm saying not not that guy. Well, well I'm over <laughs> that guy. It was another guy. I've tried to I've tried to put him out. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying like there's a there is a difference when you've got a this. I to say like the the not, not sensual. That sounds really bad. It's not sensual. That's that's like romantic. It's 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 a. Uh, there's something about a burly man, <laughs> a burly man versus a woman who's taking care of your upper thighs. Yeah. Like, you, <laughs> like you said, if I'm feeling a bunch of arm hair on my upper thigh, I know that's not supposed to be happening. <laughs> right. I know I'm not off on this. Just go, <laughs> just go with it. <laughs> I should probably just, just, in, just stop. Best massage you ever had, I'm sure. Uh, it, no, he. You talking about my Serbian guy? Yeah. No, because the whole time he sat there, because we were in Croatia, we were about to dock in Croatia, and the whole time I'm like, Croatia's beautiful, and he's like, fuck Croatia. Oh. Apparently they. <laughs> oh. Apparently they don't like each other. Is that his ex-husband <laughs> country? Yes. So Serbia and Croatia apparently had like war and okay. they, they don't like each other. You know, Yugoslavia was a mess, like a lot of places in yeah. the world. And so I was asking him and I made the mistake and you know me. I'm like, so tell me what exactly happened <laughs> So the whole fucking hour and a half. As you're as he's rubbing your upper thigh. Oh, and, and every time he got intense, he'd just like dig yeah. in. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> the Croatians are, you know, uh, yelling at you. Yeah. Shit. So... The good news is later that night for cocktail hour with our new friends, I had some information I could share yeah. uh, about Croatia and uh, Serbia, nice. their relationship when it uh, came up. Nice. It, <laughs> Which I, I forced it to I'll come leave up. It alone. I'll leave it alone. <laughs> no, don't leave it alone, Trey. <laughs> Do we leave anything alone? Go ahead. No, just say, say what's on your mind. Hey, did, did he buy you drinks? Did he <gasps> buy you dinner? Or... <laughs> Did you feel a? Uh, did he scratch your foot later that night? No, you know I think this this guy was purely business. I you oh. know I really think he was he was so business oriented. He's like, how does that feel? But it wasn't in a it wasn't in like a, a true sensual way. It was yeah. just like literally, how do you feel? I'm going to tell you about the Serbia Croatia war. <laughs> like it was like, and I, when I left, it goes here. You're going to buy this product. I mean, yeah. it was just it was. To the point. But the bottom line is, when he'd hit certain spots, I'm like, am I supposed to be feeling this way? <laughs> he started questioning things. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I've never felt uh, my, the back of my knee feel, feel this good before in my life. From a touch of a man. And, and it was the touch of a man. Yeah. And then, of course, then he'd go to regions where I'm like, this is not comfortable. No. And we're back. Get your hand off of that. <laughs> go, can you go back to the back of the knee, please? So anyway, that's that's that. That's that's that. Uh, you give me you, you had one. You have a, a self awareness for tonight. Um, well, I know we talked about cleaning gym equipment. And yeah, so you don't do it. I don't do it. Um, <laughs> I started noticing these people cleaning. So is them. that your thing? You don't oh, no, do it. I don't do it. Um, so you need to be more self aware about that. Sure, but I started noticing that certain people use the same paper towel on every piece of equipment they clean. I was like, doesn't that defeat the purpose of it? You want it to be clean. Why are you going to clean it? And you're taking the germs. You just cleaned off one piece of equipment. And you're just wiping it on the next one. Okay. And then on the next one. Could they wipe half and then use the other half? They weren't. It's like balled up. You and watch, wipe it down. You watch their process. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if they're going to do it, I'm just sitting there watching it. <laughs> Sounds and then like an incredible waste of time. <laughs> well, and then when you're sitting there waiting for a machine, it's like they want to clean it off. Right. Okay, I get it. I respect that. Don't take your sweet fucking time. Look, Don't go over look. there, stretch, and grab a towel, and spray it down, and stretch some more. Get over there, get back, clean it so I can start working out. I will take what they do over what you do, which is nothing. Yeah. Because at least they're respectful 
of the sweat that gets on the machines. I don't sweat that much. It, it, but that's not for you to decide. Well, I don't want one drop of your sweat on my upper leg. You know something that happened to me the other day at the gym I'm a little uncomfortable with? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Why are we so late in the show with this? Sorry. No, I'm saying I want to know. I wear sandals to the gym, you know, and so I went to the bathroom. Why do you wear sandals to the gym? You I'm do lazy. no cardio? No, I don't do cardio. Ever? Ever. Except your bike riding. Which I haven't done in a while. Oh, <clears throat> I called it. Go ahead. We'll talk about that later. So, walk up to the urinal to use the restroom. Hmm. Before I even pull things out, I feel a drip. That's your... <laughs> liquid <laughs> hit my foot. You're not, you're not even out yet. I haven't even started being yet, so I know it's not mine. So, yeah. Uh, well, you know what? First off... Um, that's what you get for wearing sandals to the gym. Second off, you don't wipe your machine, so too, that's the karma. Yeah. Third off, what do you do? <laughs> I mean, do you, do you stick your foot in the sink? Well, then I started thinking, <laughs> like, what do you do to wash well, off? My dumb ass self, I took my other foot and wiped it, but then I'm like, well, now it's on my other foot. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm going to take a shower when I get home anyway, so, so yeah. Um, well, those are good. I, I always have a lot more to say. I just never want to stop. But we got to stop. Got to stop. Now, what time is it? Yeah. I think one time we should do a four-hour show. Oh, my God. What do you think? If you give me a recliner in here, then yeah, I'll probably okay. do a four-hour show. I, I, I agree with you because you can see from minute one till minute <laughs> however many. Two. You can see the shift. You can start seeing. Okay, Trey's yeah. starting to get a little bit uncomfortable. Um, uh, uh, hit us up. Uh, uh, we're really, really, really pumping this uh, YouTube channel, and it's getting some good hits on a lot of our uh, previews. Thousands. I mean, I'm I'm talking good numbers. Um, uh, we haven't had any of the likes under fifty percent, so that's a positive. Nice. Most of them are are high. Uh, and Spotify. Those are the two main ones. I'm not going to say that the other ones aren't important. You can check us out anywhere you listen to podcasts. Yeah, please like, dislike, comment. But yeah, that's subscribe. That's the point. Yeah, I mean, don't just go listen. I mean, I mean, yes, go listen, but but there's always something you can hit. Yeah, Tell that us makes for it. That's fine. But don't. I mean, even even don't even. I mean, we want you to comment, but don't even comment. There's always either a like, or a, or a subscribe, yeah. or a follow. It's not. <laughs> It's not. It's not very hard. It's not, it's not hard at all, unless you really just don't like us and you don't want to do it. And then at least, at least tell me so that I can just go. All right, fair. Another person doesn't like us. Yeah, no follows. Not your cup of tea. But I feel like we should have one million follows. <laughs> one million by now. So keep just helps out and 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 keep listening and tell your friends. Yes, we um. We're not going to stop. I think Trey and I are dedicated, and we're going to keep rolling. Yes. So we'll see you on the next one. Later. Love you guys. trying to think of something to go with this uh you got nothing i got nothing right now i'm so today was off well the only happy ending i've ever had is from the serbian guy so. <laughs> at least we've got that in common mm. no one ho hopefully no one listens to this point <laughs> at least we've got that in common <laughs> see you guys <laughs>